with yet another DJ Brew 2 Mix Drink How To. That's right, the hard look is out and the delectable ingredients too. And also a bit of beer this time. That's right, it's time to go back to my roots. Well, at least my beer geek roots and make an awesome beer cocktail today or beer tail, whatever the hell you want to call it. And what are we going to make today? We're going to make a Bailey Stout Double Chocolatini. Damn, that's a mouthful, but you know what? You're going to want more than one mouthful of this when you taste it because it is awesome. So, ingredients-wise in this drink today, we've got um, chocolate Baileys, what I, which I've homemade. It's easy to do. I have a Baileys uh, how-to video. If I can remember, I'll put a link to it down here in the notes section. Check it out. Easy to make a chocolate, and one day I'll make a video of that as well. We got whipped cream vodka. We got rogue double chocolate stout and cashew milk. Now, you're saying, DJ, why are you using cashew milk and not regular milk? This is a new product, and um, I really like the nuttiness that it brings to it. I've sweetened it up a little tiny bit with some stevia, and it really brings it, you know, a really nice flavor. It's quite creamy, and it gives it that little bit of a nutty kick in it. Now, you heard I'm also using stout in this. You say, well, DJ, you can use Kahlua. Why aren't you using that? Well, this chocolate stout, Rogue Double Chocolate, brings the big chocolate flavor. It's got deep caramel and coffee roasted notes, and, and it's just a lovely really drinkable stout and I think it's going to make a great combination in this. So let's get to it. Stop flapping my gums and get this cocktail made. So we first start out we're hitting everything into an ice shaker. We have two and a half ounces of our chocolate baileys. Boom. Easy in. Next we've got an ounce and a half or actually a half ounce of whipped cream vodka. Boom. And there now we've got two and a half ounces to three depends upon you of rogue double chocolate stout that I've let go a little bit flat so it doesn't fizz up too much in the shaker here while we're stirring it. We'll still maybe get a little bit of carbonation in there. And I've got two and a half ounces of the sweetened cashew milk. You can use regular milk too if you want. It's all up to you. Boom, that's all in there. So we've got all of our ingredients in. Easy. We're pouring things into a tin. Now we're going to stir this. This will kick out the rest of the carbonation that's in there as long as it's plenty flat. You'll be able to see if it's bubbling up because we're going to give this a really gentle shake and then we're going to strain into our martini glass and then we will garnish of course to make it gorgeous so all done with that <laughs> that's awesome so we've got our pre-chilled martini glass here that we're going to dump it's nice and cold let's get our top on and we're just going to roll this ever so gently because we don't want it exploding on us there is beer in here which is a carbonated product Okay, nice and cold. Man, this thing's freezing. Let's get our glass here and strain pour it in. Look at that, guys. Delicious chocolate milk looking happiness. That's right, you're making a drink. You got to be happy. You're making either yourself something awesome or somebody you care about something awesome. I'm making one for my missus. She likes creamy, chocolatey drinks like this. So, we've got some shaved chocolate. I just took a Hershey bar, used a microplane grater, and then boom, here you go, shaved chocolate. We're not talking anything real fancy. We've got in our little shot glass here. We'll give you a picture of this when we're done. But, check that out, guys. Wouldn't you want to drink that freaking dessert in a glass? Of course you would. Let's get an aroma on it and see what's up in that department. Damn, it's chocolate and creamy, front to back. Man, you get a hint of the coffee notes and the dark roasted notes out of the stout. But the chocolate is big and present and up in your grill. I gotta get a taste of this. This usually ain't my thing, but I'm gonna try it. Cheers. Damn. That is smooth and super dangerous. You can't taste a bit of the booze in that. This one is a freaking winner. You gotta try this, guys. You know what? If you like chocolate, this is for you. This is the Chocoholics Delight. So, to the next DJ Brew 2, if you could do me a big favor and think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer and cocktail movement, that would be totally freaking awesome. Also, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that like button, because that, along with copious amounts of alcohol, put my happy face on. So, to the next DJ Brew Tube, I got nothing but a bunch of Bailey's Stout, double chocolatini drinking love for you, and you know what's coming? That's right, a big ass pizza.